Hi students, it is good time meet with you. Today you are going to learn about independent judiciary. An independent judiciary, the Supreme Court of India has original powers and it has the exclusive authority of settling issues between the government of India and one or more states or between two or more states. Now see here especially about okay independence of india judiciary here you may find especially okay imagine a situation in which a powerful political has encouraged on land belong to your family within this uh, uh, judicial system the political has the power to appoint and dismiss a judge from his office when you take this case to court, the judge is clear, partial to the political, which is given in our test book. So that's why at the time, how can you take decisions? Okay, yes, if any situation will happen in family or outside or anywhere, maybe you will get justice from the court of our India. Okay, right. Independent judicial of India, uh, especially you may find here, the judicial independence, in fact, is ensured by the supreme law of land issues, that's constitution. The article 50 of the constitution separates judiciary from the executive. See, according to the constitution, uh, what the issues will happen, then they will get to, okay, judgment, okay, uh, belongs to whom that lands are, uh, how it will come, how we how to give to each one then you may get according to article 50 okay so you may observe here any political man or any is ips officers may not involved why because okay judiciary is a independent in the future to maintain the principle of role of law the judicial independent is prime necessity future the maintain the principle of okay rule of law the judicial independence is a prime necessary why because it is a very 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 important thing in our india it is a prime necessary to everyone why because everyone have to get justice in our india see if political leaders will support to uh, others only they will get justice or is uh, executive persons will support others then they will get resist but the common people may not get that's why judiciary is a independent on the top of this given such as a responsible position the judiciary needs to work in an independent atmosphere so that it can take uh, on b side and important decision okay this is a main decision which is giving from the court. The court may give us a good justice. Maybe any yeah, issues will happen, any case will happen, then you will get. Next, see here, how to ensure the independence of judiciary. How to ensure the independence of the judiciary. Now, you may see, uh, see about here, ensure ensures the independence of the judiciary okay especially you know one aspect of this independence is the separation of the powers this uh, as you know okay appointment of judges the appointment of the judges of the supreme court as well as high court is a lengthy process to a uh, judge of supreme court and high court is appointed by the president on the advice of the council of minister okay specifically by the prime minister and law ministers and in case of high court judge to more persons namely governor and chief ministers how to appoint the judge okay for that they will okay arrange one committee 
and that committee some ministers are there prime minister will be there and appointed some additional ministers are there then even high court judges also will be there then they will decide they will elect the judges they appoint so like that we may observe however the role of the judiciary we may observe specifically what is happening in the court how they are getting judgment from the court if unnecessarily if judge also will give wrong judgment also which upon that also committee may take action who will take action committee will take action then you may appeal <coughs> why because they not no need to favorable to political leaders and is officers no need to be politic uh, they will favorable to the legislature and executive so here she uh, security of the treasure the uh, tenure of an important judge is highly secured and in normal uh, circumstance he cannot be removed rather he rather after attaining the age of 65 in case of supreme court and 62 in case of high court see security of the tenure the tenure of an appointment judge is highly secured and in normal circumstances he cannot be removed rather the uh, retains after the attending the age of 65 see if even the judge has a 20 for 65 more than 62 you no need to attend the court as you may work as a judge so remove of the judge a judge can be removed only on the ground of the misbehavior or incapacity however the removal process of a supreme court judge or high court judge is very uh, complex and lengthily taking in the taken mostly time the removal process can be done only after proper investigation and then mm, passing the removal motion in the parliament with two third majority uh, um, present and voting see according to this voting then that judge will be removed then next you see here a restriction of law practice a restrict uh, retained judge is not allowed to practice as a advocate in the same or equivalent court so a retired judge of the supreme court cannot practice in any court including the supreme court however a ritual judge of high court is uh, restricted to practice in the same high court from where he retired and all the lower courts of india but he can practice in other high courts or in the supreme courts of india this ensures that ex judge practicing at the bar does not influence the decision of the bench with whom he may have preserved uh, familiar preserved familiar you may observe this is the process how to ensure the uh, independent of judiciary for that how we have to take some of the pre plans according that we may okay do that particular okay works how we have to remove the judge how we have to appoint the judge how judge how to work and after the retirement out uh, how he have to do work also for that uh, some okay uh, instructions are there that instructions you must have to follow and next to uh, see here may most important point um, the salary and uh, allowance of the judge are fixed and not the subject to vote of the legislature the salary of judges are fixed and cannot be altered in normal circumstances if any circumstances will be happen that salary may will be not reduce why because their salary they have to be fixed okay according the constitution if legislature will take one okay 
bill it will become the law so and that law what did they mention they have to fulfill but they should not decrease the salaries next principle of non interference by the other brains of the government the judicial conducts of the judges are immune from okay, examination by other constitutional organs the conduct of judges of the supreme court cannot be discussed in the parliament and the judges of high court cannot be discussed in the state legislature expect when a removal motion is introduced in the house this is main important you may observe the conduct of the judge of the supreme court and conduct of the high court and Uh, district court uh, they may not discuss in different different courts next see here judges freedom have judges freedom or not uh, see here in uh, respect of uh, posting promotion transfer and uh, disqualification and discipline etc are entirely in the hands of the judiciary only see according to the judiciary committee only they will uh, get uh, some freedom why because uh, others they may attack them and they may do such kind of the things uh, so they will may loss uh, okay their priority and uh, now see here category of the judges independence category of judges independence first one here personal independence it means the judges are not dependent on the government in any way in which might get influenced from them in reaching at a decision in any of the case second here you observe functional independence it means the judges are immune and hence can make any decision without the submitting any store of incident or outside pressures see some pressures also will come from outside why because they have to get a good judgment so like this some of the issues will be happen anyway they, they have to be protected for them special okay security is there then internal independence it means the judges are uh, judicially officers are independent to make their decisions based on the given facts and uh, evidence and they are not uh, obliged to follow any kind of the order or indication or pressure from their judicial supervisor and uh, colleges while deciding the case this is the internal independence okay so according to internal independence you know judges are again okay, judicial officers are independent to make their decision based on the given facts what the okay claims are saying according their argument judge can take decision next collective independence it means the institutional administrative and financial independence of the judiciary are all this is a collective independence okay what is the collective independence yes both are entirely is there equal all things next you may observe here impartiality of judges impartiality of judges means that the concept of the judge impartiality is distinct from the independence of the judiciary but both are pretty uh, interlinked with each other as the independence of the judiciary ensured the impartiality of judge so you may observe and uh, here however the judge who are the constituent actors of uh, judiciary are expected 
to be impartial which means without personal bias or prejudices towards individual while the deciding the case and delivering the judgment judges should appeal the laws uniformly and consistently to all person by keeping article 14 of the constitution in mind so according that judge have some okay supports according the judiciary okay why because here judge is independent he can take own decisions he can he can listen from the claims but if he will do any mistakes the committee will remove him and for that also they may conduct okay elections okay students for you i am keeping here video is listen carefully and get more information how is there in uk government a uh, british political uh, system and we're going to see exactly why it's important well you know there are three branches there's judicial you've got a legislative and you've got executive in any government system it's a judiciary's role within the united kingdom to protect the citizens through interpreting and upholding the laws it stands their role is to hold the government and any other public body accountable uh, within the law okay they also have to ensure uh, the effectiveness in interpreting the law fairly uh, this is crucial in maintaining their independence as well too it's regarded as essential that there was a strict separation of powers in the judiciary and other branches and you can see this in the newly established supreme court it's also regarded as essential that judges should be able to take decisions without political interference how can the judiciary for example possibly act as constraint to government if the executive or parliament can influence its uh, judicial decisions one of the key things you need to know then in terms of legislation is one you already do know it's the constitutional reform act of 2005 introduced by tony blair this had a major effect it basically withdrew judicial powers from the house of lords where they were and it set up the new supreme courts basically separating powers so judicial independence is maintained in a number of ways firstly you've got appointments now you have the judicial appointments commission the highest legal position previously was the Lord Chancellor, and they were chosen by the Prime Minister, and they actually sat in all three branches of government. The Lord Chancellor, in turn, made all legal, uh, major senior legal appointments, and they did this based on secret soundings. They basically went and met other judges. They were mostly male, upper middle class, Oxbridge educated judges, and this obviously produced a network of judges with a similar background uh, and was hardly representative, fair, or impartial. The introduction of this new Judicial Appointments Commission was a major step forward. It's a pa panel of independent uh, people who um, uh, and judges have to apply formally to get into that position. Um, the position of Lord Chancellor was reduced. Has it made a difference? Well, yes, we could argue it has, because according to the JAC, from 2011-2012, 43% of candidates recommended to senior judge posts were women, even though they make up only 19% of the eligible pool. UK Supreme Court has its first very famous female president, Baroness Hale, and it also has three out of the 12 people serving, so three out of the 12 serving are women. Uh, the JAC removes the political tinge that was evident uh, from the role of the Lord Chancellor. The appointments process much fair based on merit, though the Justice Minister can veto appointments, they're only limited to doing this with one nomination and only in exceptional circumstances. Recent high profile cases such as Jane Miller have clearly went against the government. This shows Supreme Court asserting its independence. Well, you can argue as well, no critics would say that the UK Supreme Court only has three out of 12 positions. That's not representative. Only one in 20 judges in the UK is non-white. This compares to 12% ethnic minority population. So progress is slow. Only one in four are female compared to 50% of the population. And most appointments are still uh, white, upper middle class and Oxbridge educated. And the um, the Lord Chancellor still has a big position. They can still reject some uh, high case or uh, high profile uh, appointments. So security of tenure is next. What is it? Well, it basically means that they can stay in their position until the age of 75 uh, without the threat of being removed. Senior judges can only be removed by an address from both Houses of Parliament. And this last happened in 1830. Junior justices are only um, their or their security of tenure is there due to good behaviour and they can only be removed um, with a criminal offence. Uh, why is it important? Well, it just means that you cannot like get rid of a judge based on a political or what's regarded as a political decision. Pay is also uh, safeguarded. Uh, obviously, the 
they don't want to have their pay reduced for a uh, decision. So it actually comes from a consolidated fund um, and that's actually decided independently by a salary review board. It also has freedom from criticism. There's a convention that exists to prevent MPs and peers from criticising judicial rulings. These are called subjudice rules and they prevent comments on trials as they're being conducted because this prejudice is the case. All ministers are meant to um, abide by this. In practice, however, there have been breaches. So 2003, Home Secretary David Blunkett criticised the legal ruling allowing nine half-gone hijackers to walk free. Uh, Charles Clark criticised the release of suspected terrorists from Belmarsh Prison. And John Reid, um, he criticised uh, 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 the release of a murderer of Philip Lawrence, uh, a London headmaster. Uh, it's also part of the independent legal profession. So judges are appointed from the ranks of lawyers, they are self-regulated by the Law Society and they are not trained by the state as elsewhere in Europe. They also have a reduced role of the, the Lord Chancellor has been discussed. So this role has been diminished entirely over the past few years. Since 2006, the legal role was transferred to the Minister of Justice. Influence over appointments is still there but much reduced. The Chancellor has to take an oath upholding the independence of the judiciary. I hope this is useful. Um, look over it and see what you think. Hello uh, and welcome. I'm just going to go through this topic of judicial independence in the United Kingdom. It's a key topic on your AS2 uh, British political uh, system. And we're going to see exactly why it's important. Well, you know that there are three branches. There's judicial, you've got legislative and you've got executive in any government system. It's a judiciary's role within the United Kingdom to protect the citizens through interpreting and upholding the laws it stands. Their role is to hold the government and any other public body accountable uh, within the law okay they also have to ensure uh, the effectiveness in interpreting the law fairly uh, this is crucial in maintaining their independence as well too it's regarded as essential that there was a strict separation of powers in the judiciary and other branches and you can see this in the newly established supreme court it's also regarded as essential that judges should be able to take decisions without political interference how can the judiciary for example possibly act as constraint to government if the executive or parliament can influence its uh, judicial decisions. One of the key things you need to know then in terms of legislation is one you already do know. It's the Constitutional Reform Act of 2005 introduced by Tony Blair. This had a major effect. It basically withdrew judicial powers from the House of Lords where they were and it set up the new Supreme Courts, basically separating powers. So judicial independence is maintained in a number of ways. Firstly, you've got appointments. Now you have the Judicial Appointments Commission. The highest legal position previously was the Lord Chancellor and they were chosen by the Prime Minister and they actually sat in all three branches of government. The Lord Chancellor in turn made all legal, uh, major senior legal appointments and they did this based on secret soundings. They basically went and met other judges. They were mostly male, upper middle class, Oxbridge educated judges and this obviously produced a network of judges with a similar background uh, and was hardly representative, fair or impartial. The introduction of this new Judicial Appointments Commission was a major step forward. It's a pa panel of independent uh, people who um, uh, and judges have to apply formally to get into that position. Um, the position of Lord Chancellor was reduced. Has it made a difference? Well, yes, we could argue it has, because according to the JAC, from 2011-2012, 43% of candidates recommended to senior judge posts were women, even though they make up only 19% of the eligible pool. The UK Supreme Court has its first very famous female president, Baroness Hale, and it also has three out of the 12 people serving, so three out of the 12 serving are women. Uh, the JAC removes the political tinge that was evident uh, from the role of the Lord Chancellor. The appointments process much fair based on merit. Though the Justice Minister can veto appointments, they're only limited to doing this with one nomination and only in exceptional circumstances. Recent high profile cases such as Jane Miller have clearly went against the government. This shows Supreme Court asserting its independence. Well, you can argue as well, no critics would say that the UK Supreme Court only has three out of 12 positions. That's not representative. Only one in 20 judges in the UK is non-white. This compares to 12% ethnic minority population. So progress is slow. Only one in four are female compared to 50% of the population. And most appointments are still uh, white, upper middle class and Oxbridge educated. And the um, the Lord Chancellor still has a big position. They can still reject some uh, high case or uh, high profile uh, appointments. So security of tenure is next. What is it? Well, it basically means that they can stay in their position until the age of seventy five. 
uh, without the threat of being removed. Senior judges can only be removed by an address from both Houses of Parliament, and this last happened in 1830. Junior justices are only, um, their, or their security of tenure is there due to good behaviour, and they can only be removed um, with a criminal offence. Uh, why is it important? Well, it just means that you cannot like, get rid of a judge based on a political, or what's regarded as a political decision. Pay is also uh, safeguarded. Uh, obviously, they, they don't want to have their pay reduced for a uh, decision. 